So, the closer and closer we get to free agency, the more and more I'm starting to hate these articles written by ESPN. <laughs> I feel like these articles are becoming more and more pre pre prevalent. If I could speak English. They're becoming more oftenly posted. 32 NFL players who need a change of scenery this offseason. And listen, they list every single team, one player from each team. And once I saw this, the first thing I thought about is, <laughs> it's going to be more Joe Mixon slander. That's all this is going to be. Because it feels like every news source, every outlet, every everything is Joe Mixon needs to get cut. Mainly because on March 16th, he gets a $3 million bonus. Even though Duke Tobin has talked about this whole entire thing to length, about he's not worried about the roster bonus that Joe Mixon is getting, number one, Coach Taylor has talked about it at length. How, you know, he feels the same way this offseason as he did last offseason about Joe Mixon. And, of course, unless we go out there and sign a veteran running back, there's no reason to cut Joe Mixon. I know it would save us $6 million, 6.75. I think that's, like, the exact number. It's not going to happen. So, 32 players that need to get cut. For the Bills... It's Trent Sherfield. Let's just go through the guys that actually matter for us. Does not matter. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I will always root on his downfall because of the dirty hit he did against us, against Eli Apple, on that pick six he had. Well, not, it was a pick six. But he had, yeah, no, it was a pick six in the end. He had a dirty hit on Eli Apple trying to take out his legs. So I will forever root against Mac Jones. Come on now. Why you got to be like that? That would be interesting. The first round draft pick wide receiver for the Ravens is getting cut. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Rashad Bateman was fully healthy this whole season. 16 games. Guy couldn't get over 300 yards. And he's the number two receiver in their offense. And Zay Flowers, a rookie, completely dominated over him. So, not too crazy. Mixon restructured his contract in 2023 to lower his cap hit. While Mixon was productive last season, gaining more than 1,400 scrimmage yards, even a reduction to his cap charge of $8.5 million not, might not be enough for a reason for the team to keep him in their current role. You're saying even if we gave this guy a, a cap hit, I'm sorry, even if we, gave, we restructured his contract again, and let's say he took less money. Even less money. You're saying it's not enough for him to stay in his current role? The guy has gained more than 1,400 yards of scrimmage yards last year. 8.5 million. Uh, that's a lot. Don't get me wrong. But if you're saying even if he had a reduction in that, even if they gave him a pay cut, he, you still do not not believe he should be in his current role. Dude, that guy cannot win. Joe Mixon cannot win, man. I feel so bad for Joe Mixon. He cannot win no matter what he does. It's not gonna it's not gonna matter. Because everyone's like, oh cut this guy, cut this guy, cut this guy. Unless we have someone else to replace him, no, we're not going to cut him. Because Chase Brown, while yes, he is the future of this franchise, he is the future RB1 of this team. We need him to, you know, have another season to really take over. And part of having him have another season, unless you have another running back in your mind that we're going to sign or that we're going to draft, you got to have an RB2. Unless you're going to trade Joe Mixon to the Broncos and get back some AJP, Ryan. Options. Or get Austin Eckler. I would love Austin Eckler. Um, the Brownies are going to cut Jakeem Grant. I don't think they're going to cut Jakeem Grant. He's an amazing kick and punt returner for them. Not the greatest when it comes to the receiving core, but he's a great punt kick returner. Allen Robinson, I'm surprised he's not already cut. 
He is a trash can. He was a trash can in LA. He was a trash can in Pittsburgh. Davis Mills? Oh, come on, man. That doesn't feel right. They, I feel like they should lose a draft pick if they cut Davis Mills. Davis Mills should sign a lifelong contract with the Texans. He should never be cut. Kenny Moore. Okay. Uh, with Sean Jenkins. See, these are all see, these are players we could sign. The strong with Sean J Jenkins, possibly. Christian Fulton, possibly. Russell Wilson. That's gonna be a funny one. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Let's sign Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I mean, why not? At this point, he played with Joe at LSU. He's not awful running back. He's not the greatest, but he's not awful. Go get him. Jimmy G. Mike Williams. I don't really love Mike Williams that much. I wouldn't mind signing someone like Michael Gallup if you can get him for a discounted price or a decent price. I wouldn't mind. Did not mean to do that. I wouldn't mind Michael Gallup. Um, Paris Campbell. We talked about him before. How there's there's a lot of new sources that want him, us to sign him. I'd rather sign Michael Gallup over Paris Campbell. Quez Watkins, Logan Thomas, Darnell Mooney, Levi, Yosh, Min. Okay. KJ Osborne. Not really, no. Taylor Heineke, Shaq Thompson, Michael Thomas. Is he healthy? A healthy Michael Thomas might not be bad with Joe. Devin White, Wondell Moore. These are all players I could really care less about. Javon Kinlaw might be interesting, though. Jamal Adams, hell no. With his injury concerns, that's the last thing we need. It's to bring in a safety who has injury concerns. We can't afford to have a safety with injury concerns right now. That would be the last thing that we could afford to have right now. Um, but overall, wise again, listen, there's, I think Joe Mason 100% is going to be back on the team next year. I don't know 100% if he's going to be the starting running back, but it's very possible he's the backup, but at least he's going to be on the team. They're not going to get rid of Joe Mixon anytime soon. Because at the end of the day, I'm sure of this, they could just ask him to take a pay cut and he could make less money. And that's all it could come down to. They could literally just say, hey, hey, listen, you take three million less because you're a bonus. And even Duke Tobin was talking about that, saying how, you know, they agreed upon that and they understood going into this year he was gonna get three more million for free. And that was the part of the deal. So it's just there's no point, man. He has fourteen hundred yards last year. This guy is still a pretty damn good running back, and he's doing it with an offensive line that's dog crap. Like, imagine that. He's doing it with an offensive line who can't get their heads out of their butts sometimes. So, let's chillax on Joe Mixon. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.